It's your girl, Lady. Welcome to Life Endeavors. If you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're already a part of the Life family, hey, y'all, you know what to do. So as you see in my background, I do have some devices along with also my coffee. Your girl just has no energy these days. And it's been, let's just say, difficult getting out of bed. So I wanted to definitely jump on here and tell you guys about Verizon. So Verizon has a new uh, plan, as a lot of different other companies have, um, where they are basically offering you the iPhone 14 um, models on them. So it's like a iPhone 14 on us. And it actually uh, doesn't only pertain to the lower models, it pertains to all the models. So the 14, um, the 14 Plus, the 14 Pro, and the 14 Pro Max. So that's four different devices that uh, you can utilize the On Us uh, promotion. Well, I did just that. My family and I took advantage of the On Us promotion, and we actually did it uh, through the business due to the fact we will be able to take our payments uh, when we're doing like the pop-up tent events um, from our phones using um, Square, uh, you know, and other services like Venmo or PayPal. So, of course, we definitely needed devices. So, we started out with the phones and one iPad and one Apple Watch. The reason for this is because of my issues with health. Um, we can have the two devices to make sure to have you know where we're able to allow temporary employees to utilize the devices um you know so nobody has to really give up their uh, business device if that makes sense so in my case um my two older children and myself got phones and i got the watch um due to the fact the watch is a lot easier for me to have um especially being in a wheelchair and the phone is super super heavy um yet my youngest can utilize the phone and then we also got an ipad because i will have a temporary employee um and so they'll be able to use the tablet um you know to be able to take payments uh to set up appointments things of that nature so we're thinking everything is good to go mind you i started this process may 8th and i started it online and if you read the fine print it tells you to get the um trade in value at the time it was like 800 dollars up to a thousand dollars for trading devices um that you would receive back um and that would, would basically be like a rebate or they would just take it off of the device amount that you receive as well as you get a $200 bill credit. In addition to if you brought your own phone, uh, you know, and ported over a number, that's another $540. Needless to say, I took advantage um, of every promotion that they offered. Unfortunately, at this time, and today is August 2nd, I still don't have the promotions on my account. So let me give you the rundown. May 8th, started the process, signed the agreements, sent in articles of operation, ended up nothing happened around about May 13th and then again around the 24th, still kind of going through the rigmarole to get the account set up. So we decided to go into the store, which we did, and once going to that store and going through all of that information once again making sure to get articles of operation business ein all that information that they needed to make sure the account was serviced and set up they realized that the account was already set up it just had not been completed so we did go ahead and get it completed and this was the first red flag after they set everything up, 
instead of them getting our devices, they kept trying to offer us different type of devices from what we requested. So again, we requested three iPhone 14 Pro Max, one, um, one iPad 11 Pro, and one eight watch series. Well, they didn't have any of that in stock, yet instead of just coming out to say it, they tried to change the devices that we were gonna get and offer us lower devices and even go as far as saying, oh, and then you can upgrade later to get the other devices. Well, why would I do that when I know exactly what I want and I wanna get it now and I'm here in the store? So that was first red flag and I should have walked away. Yet I did not. So of course, standing my ground and letting them know, hey, I am here to get the devices that I requested if you don't have them, I can go somewhere else. That's when we were finally told, not only by the uh, sales agent that was assisting us, but also the uh, store manager was there assisting the individual who was assisting us because he was new. He finally came out and was like, okay, I apologize. No, we don't have the devices. Can you come to our other store and we're gonna set you up an appointment because the devices are actually there versus you having to wait so we said okay. so as i stated we said okay and we don't have a problem with coming to the other store so that we could actually pick up our devices and go well the plan was to reach out to the individual um before going to the store to make sure that the individual was going to still be able to guarantee that we were going to be able to get our devices so did just that the following day reached out to that individual uh via a call no answer came through so then i sent a text the person waited until about two and a half hours later to respond to my text to say, oh, I apologize, it's getting late. Can you come tomorrow? So mind you, I sent the text around about three. The person didn't text back until about 5.30 and then even asked could we delay getting our devices one more day and come you know, the next day. So with that, I said, okay, and we actually went to a different store. Um, I was not gonna play that game. And that's one thing about me. If you schedule something with me or you ask me to set something up with you and you ask me to follow up around that time and then I follow up around the time that you specifically requested, yet then you don't respond or you respond two hours after the time that you specifically request for me to reach out to you, we're done at the end of the day you're not respecting my time although i'm respecting your time so i'm just not going to continue with you because i don't want to aggravate myself so we went to another store we were able to get all the devices that we requested and um pretty much we were we were happy um, it took some time. There were a couple of issues and hiccups, and we were actually at the store for over two hours. However, in the end, we got what we requested, and we went about our way. Well, it did not stay a happy, glorious week for us because, for whatever reason, Apple Watch would not activate. Now, if you're not too familiar with Apple devices. Um, they pretty much come ready to go out of the package other than you need to, you know, set up your uh, iCloud by putting in your Apple ID. Um, and then if you have an old iPhone, you're able to transfer what you currently have on your old phone to your new phone. So you don't have to like re download all of those apps and things of that nature. In addition to the Apple Watch, like I said, pretty much comes pretty much comes set up out the box and you have to uh, go through, you know, making sure that, again, you set it up where uh, it's attached to your iCloud 
and if you have other apps you want to download things of that nature the only other tidbit is you do have to actually activate the watch because it's not activated for you in the store um like the phones are i don't know why but it's just not set up that way so upon trying to activate the device uh following the directions that the device is giving it would not activate um actually spoke with customer service uh about twice it just would not activate so of course um we were like okay we're gonna have to get a different device because something's obviously wrong with this one now mind you i requested standalone standalone is not the same as the mirroring the device and mirroring the device is basically when you get an iphone and you get a watch you could have the watch actually pull up everything that's on the iPhone. So it's kind of like a mirror. Whatever you're doing on the iPhone, you can do on the watch because it's connected. And you can still take the watch and you can make calls and things away from the phone. However, it's gonna show the phone's actual physical number through the watch because it's just mirroring. It's like a reflection of your phone. However, that's not what I requested. I requested standalone where the watch has its own number i don't want to i don't want it to mirror what is on my personal device or even on my business device i want it to have its own line so that if i need to have someone else use as i stated before my phone i have the watch and i have a standalone number that's not the same as the phone well that is not what was set up because the watch would not activate so the next issue was my iMessage as well as my daughter's iMessage was not working on the phone. For whatever reason, whenever we were sending messages, it had to go through as SMS uh, messages versus through iMessage. Um, and a lot of times the messages would just fail. So of course we went back to the store, they figured out what was wrong. It took us four hours this time in the store just to do a warranty exchange on a watch, as well as to get the IMEI on my device corrected. Well, in addition to that, we were still waiting on labels and boxes from when we first went to the very first store we never received, as well as when we went to this store on June 30th, still never received. And now we're back and this is like July 6th and we're already having these issues. So. We were told, you know, we would get the labels, numbers would be ported. This is what we needed to do. We did all of that, nothing happened. Um, as well as we be getting our promotions. Again, did all of that, nothing happened. So now we're at the store yet again to give them the watch that won't activate and get assistance with setting up the iMessage. Well, we gave them the watch back and was told that a watch will be mailed to us within two business days due to the fact that they did not have any watches in stock. We had got the biggest watch, which was the 45 millimeter. Needless to say, we got iMessage set up. So we left thinking, no worries. We also discussed the promotions that were supposed to be tied to the account that I explained to you earlier in the video. And we still had not had those. So pretty much from the 6th of July through the 29th of July. We have been working on this issue. We were again awaiting the Apple Watch, which we have not still received. During the week of the 6th, going into the following week, we realized my device and my daughter's device were running hot in addition to the ipad running hot and when i say running hot the devices will not keep a charge you have to charge them about three times throughout today out the day if you choose to use them if you're not using them you still have to uh charge them twice because the battery is just not doing what the battery needs to do because it's running hot apps are being stuck you're getting stuck in apps meaning that you're in an app and it just completely freezes and you have to uninstall the app to reinstall the app, to reset it up, to be able to utilize it. 
the devices are also getting stuck on the internet where it just completely freezes up and you have to close everything out to open it again the devices are um not uh capturing information um because again i guess it's getting you know stuck or frozen on those devices so needless to say first of all just having to keep charging it is a no-go so we reached out um i informed them of the situation i was told we would be doing again another warranty exchange at first they kept trying to add it to my business credit line and like getting new devices and i'm like that's not what we're doing we're just exchanging the devices that don't work due to whatever manufacturer error so it took a while but they finally figured it out needless to say we did not get in any devices any devices from as i stated when we started this process with the watch july 6th through june 29th and the reason why i'm mentioning the 29th is because we followed up again and what they information that was provided was you know they could see where the watch was ordered unfortunately there were none in stock and it was on back order and so they had to reorder it again and they had to send a ticket to request for it to be overnighted still don't have a watch but i'm still being billed in addition to they also put in the request for the two new iphone 14 pro max devices again warranty exchange as well as the um ipad 11 pro warranty exchange mind you still have not received any devices as of the 31st now mind you the last day to do warranty exchange was june 30th however we were informed because they can see everything we did everything during the 30 days where you can do the warranty and even requested to close out the complete account and just start a new account and was informed multiple times that that is not what needs to happen they're going to get it corrected and get it fixed we did find out we got the um, refund for the taxes that we paid on the watch however still have no watch yet the watch is still on the account being billed so needless to say we of course like i said followed up on the 29th and was told again that they've sent this stuff up they gave us the order number to be looking for our new devices and informed us that you know we're not going to be penalized because this was on verizon um even have been waiting to speak with the regional manager of the stores that i visited and the store manager even informed us this is at the first store that we don't have anything to worry about because everything we did everything we were supposed to do on our end and unfortunately they kind of dropped the ball so we're going to get you know that thousand dollar trade-in value we'll still get the two hundred dollar bill credit and we'll still get the five hundred forty dollars for you know the phone trans the phone bringing our own phone to transfer the number in the port so needless to say they then had to go in this is all on the 29th and submit a promotion um correction so that they can get all this stuff added to the account well as of yesterday when i looked in the account still don't have those promotions so we did get in the mail on yesterday two certified like new devices now mind you when you do a warranty exchange the same way you went into the store and you got brand new devices that came out of the box still with the plastic on it you would get the same thing through the warranty exchange however that's not what we got what we got was as i stated we received so what we got was 
light new certified light new devices and if you can see that well this is not what we requested and this is not what we paid for and this is what you would get if you did like a upgrade or um an insurance claim and so when we reached out to let them know you know okay we didn't even have a problem with keeping the light new devices however guess what the eSIM will not activate in these new devices and the error that we get it says that the uh eSIM from the old device which is the device we currently have uh is not set up for eSIM and so we can't even get our phone numbers in the new phones now mind you we tried about maybe three different times where we basically tried to transfer our information over uh from the old device to the new device even tried to transfer the eSIM as it uh requested it just would not work so when we call customer service and just bear with me guys because your girl got a lot of pain going on over here so i'm trying to set up my massager because uh, i need it so pretty much as i stated we um reached out to customer service let them know what was going on and unfortunately even though we were supposed to get as i stated brand new devices um, and they can see the order number for the iPad, for the watch, and for the two devices, they were kind of dumbfounded as of why we got certified like new because that's not what we're supposed to get. Now, mind you, in addition to that, these devices are not under the Verizon carrier. They just say uh, no carrier and they're unlocked, which is not a problem because, you know, we're owning the devices. However, it won't even link up to Verizon's network. So again, we can't keep devices that we are not gonna be able to use. And we're being told that because we're outside of the 30 days now, although this again was an error on Verizon and we started the process when we were still within those 30 days at the very beginning of the, the first week of the 30 days, that there's nothing that they can do and although they've sent up i think if i'm not mistaken for the two phones they've sent up about three tickets for the ipad uh two tickets and for the apple watch i believe it's been uh one about four or five tickets and so now although we even requested to just cancel the complete account Send us the boxes so we can return devices and they were informing us no they've gotten it fixed they've got everything corrected again this was on the 29th as well as that they gave us the order number and then we get to yesterday which was the first and they finally sent something out and it's still not fixed so needless to say if i were you um i would not try to get this promotion uh, for whatever reason, Verizon system is just having a time making sure customers get their due. Um, and when I was in the store about two weeks ago, that was something that I noticed. Um, other individuals who did the on us, there were about three or four other individuals in the store that did the on us. And they were just doing the on us, the personal they had the same issues. And I'm not sure if it's just this promotion or if it's just Verizon systems altogether. However, the on us is really on you because it's not working. Um, so I definitely want to bring you that information and tell you that Verizon, it's just not it. It's just not, it's not doing what we need it to do. So definitely 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 steer clear if you can i'm still working with 
this situation um, we have labels so that we can now return the light new devices that we received however we're still waiting on the actual devices that we need to receive um, that we have not gotten yet so the next step is definitely um, escalating this um, with the retention uh, department uh, their customer relations and cancellation department because this makes absolutely no sense um, that this is what we're going through and this video was just something I definitely wanted to bring to you guys I actually have a update um, for like your business if you're trying to start a business as well as what I'm doing with my business which is what I plan on doing a video on unfortunately when this happened it kind of put um, pissing my cereal so uh this is what's going on so i'm going to continue to make sure i keep you guys updated but as of right now um i would definitely say look at a different carrier because verizon is not it so that's what i have going on definitely let me know what you have going on down in the comments and i'll catch you next saturday